Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great Class B motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Today we're looking at a 2007 Jayco Melbourne model number 29D Class B Plus motorhome. Folks, this is one of the best buys on the internet on a high quality, low mileage Class B motorhome. This one is 31 and a half feet long. It has three power slide outs built on a Super Duty E450 chassis with a 6.8 liter Triton V10 only 35,000 miles. It's knee deep in Michelin tires. Folks, this was a local trade-in and I'm going to tell you, they just don't come any nicer than this in a 2007 model. All three slide outs are covered with awnings and I'm going to tell you folks, just a good looking camper. It's got the rear view camera system the Onan generator, it's got the 305 horsepower Triton V10 with only 35,000 miles. Folks, right before I shot this video, I googled 2007 Jayco Melbourne just to compare our prices with other dealers across the country. Folks, these things are fifty and $55,000 everywhere else. The closest one in price to ours I found was in Louisiana. It was a 2007 Melbourne. They were asking $46,000 for it. Same thing as this, but it had over 70,000 miles on it. This one's only got 35,000 miles. So, folks, just an awesome buy on an awesome motorhome. Let me tell you a little bit about Jayco. Jayco's is a family-owned company. They've been in business for over 46 years. Over 80% of their workforce, their factory workforce, are Amish or Mennonites. So you can imagine the quality that goes into each and every Jayco product. And they're the largest privately owned RV manufacturer in the United States. Tell you folks, this has uh, got the outside entertainment center. It's got the big patio awning, the heavy duty trailer tow package. Got the heavy duty cap on the front back of the RV. That's a sign of a well built RV. Rear roof access ladder. I'm going to tell you folks, only 31 and a half foot long. This is very easy to drive and park. It's not it's not as wide as a Class A, uh, not as tall as a Class C. I mean, this is something you can just put in any state park with no problem. It's got the DSI water heater. Like I said, look at these tires, folks. Michelin tires that look like brand new. Onan generator with very low hours. Folks, this one's not going to last longer than a day or two. Running boards on the cab. See how that cab over is built. You never have to worry about leaks out of this one, folks. Let's take a look inside this 2007 Jayco Melbourne. Folks, inside this RV is just as nice as the outside. No smoke. No pet odors. And we're going to show you everything works great. Folks, this thing is loaded. We're going to start up here in the cab. Got the soft buckskin leather, captain's chairs, tilt cruise. It's got the power mirrors with heat. Like I said, only 35,000 miles. Ice cold dash air, hot heat, CD stereo, factory CD. Everything works great. There's your monitor panel for your rear vision camera. Carpet looks great, folks. This is all original carpet. Looks like new inside and out. They just don't come any nicer than this, folks. Over the cab, you've got a large HD TV, plenty of cabinets. It's got nice options like the padded headliner. Uh, this right here helps with insulation. It also helps reduce outside noise and road noise when you're driving down the road. Got the look how thick the roof padding is. This is a very well insulated model. It's a Four Seasons. It's got the fantastic vent fan. It's got the nice light fixtures. Folks, if you went in 2007 and bought this RV new, you would spend almost $90,000. This is about the Mac Daddy of the Class B Pluses of the Jake Old Melbourne. A uh, table folds down, makes a bed. You've got a power sleeper sofa. You push a button, this folds out into a bed. Day night shades in all the windows. Notice the light fixtures. Not a lot of plastic in here. A lot of metal high intensity lights, fluorescent lighting. Stainless steel appliances, range top, you've got the microwave. I mean, it's everything you need right here in one spot. And just a really 
nice room. You know, most Class Bs you look at, you spend a night or two in them, you're you you're ready to get out. They're too cramped. But this one right here is something you can spend a long period of time in without getting cramped, and just have all the nice amenities that Jayco's made famous for. Solid surface countertops. Got the nice Nor Cold RV refrigerator freezer. It's got ice cold ducted roof air. Again, just the nice light fixtures. Got your command center right here. This is your generator slide out controls. It's got the big inverter. Uh, the DSI water heater that runs off of LP or electric. I mean, you've got everything right here, folks. Uh, metal plumbing fixtures, not the cheap plastic ones like you find in a lot of RVs. I mean, Jayco is known for their high quality RVs. Split bathroom, you've got a shower, a very nice size shower with a skylight. It's got the sliding glass door, that's an upgrade. Uh, you open your house style door, and this makes a privacy barrier between the front of the RV and the back, so you can separate the bedroom and bathroom completely apart from each other. Uh, it's got the upgrade China RV toilet, another fantastic vent fan instead of the regular cheaper vent fans. Vanity area, stainless sink, medicine cabinet. I mean, just a good looking motorhome. Uh, linoleum looks great. Folks, there's no stains, there's no odors in here, no watermarks, no signs of this RV has ever leaked. Uh, like I said, folks, uh, if somebody's going to spend $90,000 on one of these new, is traditionally going to take good care of it. And just a point, just to make a point, the Michelin tires, folks. When somebody cares enough about their RV to spend twice as much money to put Michelins on one instead of a Firestone or a cheaper brand, folks, and they usually take very good care of it, and that shows you how they hold the RV in esteem and how they take care of it. So if they put Michelin tires on it, folks, and chances are the rest of the RV is in immaculate condition, just like this one. Queen Island bed here in the back, very comfortable mattress. And this is all in a slide out. So at the foot of the bed, you get another flat screen TV, plenty of storage, plenty of, uh, here's your little table that you can set up in front of the sofa as well, but you've got nice wardrobe hanging closets, plenty of drawer space. I mean, folks, this is just about the ultimate small motorhome that you could ever want. I mean, this three slides out gives this 31 footer the room of a 35 footer just with all these three slide outs a lot of room in this RV folks it sleeps up to six people and I'm gonna tell you folks I've got it bargain priced like I said the closest one in price I could find online had almost I had over twice the mileage this one does and it was six thousand dollars more folks we're asking 39.9 firm for this RV that is the price I'm not I can't take any less if you offer me 39.8 I cannot take it 39.9 the price and I'm gonna tell you uh, I've got two book values printed out right here just to show you what kind of deal it is I did a NAD a base book and all I did was I adjusted for the miles which is 35,000 miles 2007 Jayco 29d almost ninety thousand dollars new Folks, you adjust for the mileage, this thing is $10,000 under base book. Now, folks, uh, NADA says to add for options, but I did one without adding for options, just showing the base book, and it is $49,863. This is the NADA adding for the options. That's not standard. $55,000 is average retail. Forty-six dollars is low retail. Folks, that's 15, 16, almost $16,000 under book value you know, and $10,000 under base book. So this is an incredible buy. The last Melbourne I had like this uh, sold within a few days and brought, well, actually brought more money than this one. But this one's $39.9, folks. That is the price. No negotiating. That is a firm price. You're not going to find another one in the country any cheaper than this one. Don't believe me, please Google 2007 J. Cole Melbourne 29D for sale yourself. You'll see what I'm talking about, folks. Uh, the, the, the ones you find have more miles and are more money. 39.9, there's no extra fees, no dock fees, no prep fees, no dealer fees. If you need to finance this RV, folks, 
I've got some of the best financing you're going to find anywhere. I've got credit union financing at only 2% interest rate, and they will loan up to $55,000 on this RV. So if you need to borrow extra money to pay off a, a car note, a credit card, or anything like that, I mean, you're buying an RV with $15,000 in equity that you can use right off the bat if you want to. Uh, so you can borrow up to $55,000 in this RV at 2% interest rate with approved credit only, of course. You need long terms, that's no problem, folks. I can get you up to 15-year financing in this RV, again, because it's so far under book, you don't need a down payment. And, of course, the interest rate's going to be around 5 or 6%. The reason why my interest rates are so much lower than any other RV dealership in the country is because I don't have a finance manager. You know, you go to these big chain RV dealerships, these big RV stores, not only are you going to pay thousands of dollars more for the exact same RV to cover their higher overhead, but they have a finance manager and they get paid strictly on the money that they profit on what they call back end or financing. Uh, what that means is they get you approved just like we do, 2, 3, 4, 5%, but they mark it up 6, 5, 6, 7% more because that's how they make their commission. In other words, they get, they get you approved at 3%, they contract you at 10% because that's how they make their money. They get a certain percentage of that and the dealer gets the rest. I mean, folks, uh, these RV dealers are making more money on financing than they are selling the RV. They also try to sell you gap insurance. They also try to sell you extended warranties, credit life, disability, stuff that you don't need. And what they do is they say, hey, for another few bucks more a month, I'll give you gap insurance. What they're not telling you is they're paying $300 for gap insurance or charging you $2,000 at the, at the marked up interest rate, and they're making a killing off of you. At Parkway RV Center, well, you deal directly with the bank so you know you're paying the actual interest rate the lowest possible rate out there. You're paying thousands less because, well, folks, we've been doing this for 46 years. We don't have the overhead these big RV dealers do. We believe that if we sell your RV cheaper than any other RV dealership in the country, you're going to be in business from now on, and that's why we've been in business 46 years, folks. Sure, we don't make as much money as the big RV dealerships do, but we sell more. So, in other words, we make our dollar with 10 dimes instead of four quarters. So low rates, lowest prices in the country, no dock fees, no prep fees, no dealer fees. You know, you go to these big RV dealerships, they charge you $1,200 to $2,000 in extra sales fees after you make the deal. And all those fees are 100% dealer profit. We charge you no extra fees at Parkway RV Center, and we offer discount nationwide delivery at cost. And what I mean by that? You just simply pay what it costs us to bring this RV to you, not a penny more. You know, you just pay my driver, you pay for the fuel, and whatever it costs us to bring them back from wherever we're delivering it to. That's it. No profit on delivery. I mean, folks, I could go on and on, but I'm going to tell you, uh, people all over the country have learned once you do business with Parkway RV Center, you're not going to go to ever go to another dealer again. You're going to be our customer for life because we're going to save you so much money. It's not even funny. And I'm going to tell you, it's um, it's just a big difference doing business with a family RV dealership instead of one of these big chain dealers. Everybody here is family. Like I said, we've been doing this 46 years. We're family owned and operated third generation now. Uh, you know, we've got about 100 used RVs in stock, so we're not a huge dealer. I mean, we're in the same location we started out in in 1968. We're not a franchise dealer, and we don't sell new RVs. Folks, we just going to make, we just concentrate on selling the nicest, cleanest used RVs at the lowest prices in the country. So, folks, give us a call. This Jayco Melbourne is going to sell very fast. $10,000 under base book, $15,000 under uh, uh, as equipped under NADA retail 706-965-7929 evenings and Sundays you can reach us at 423-605-6747 you can visit our website parkwayrvcenter.net we've got over 100 used RVs in stock lowest prices in the country we've sold RVs to 45 out of 50 states we've sold hundreds to Canadian buyers we've shipped them overseas to Hawaii 
Italy, England, and even Australia, folks. And we're just in a little old town here in Georgia. So uh, if that doesn't, if that's not a testimony to how much money we can save you and how many RVs we sell, then I don't know what else is. So come on down to Ringo, Georgia. Check us out and tell them Big Bo sent you. Thank you for watching.